In this digital age, technology has become a driving force in our lives. Our generation, in particular, is so dependent on digital devices that it is difficult to imagine a life without a computer, cell phone, and iPod. The development of these technologies has dramatically changed our quality of life, for better and for worse. The Digital Natives Project, a collaboration between the Harvard Law School and the University of St. Gallen in Switzerland, studies young people coined digital natives whose use of technology is completely ingrained in their lives. Digital natives have grown up with digital technology and have adapted a certain technological language and culture. Digital immigrants, a term referring to an older generation, migrated to these technologies later in life. And, while many are just as connected as their youthful counterparts, they remember existing in a pre-network society. This generational gap has potential for misunderstandings to occur between natives and immigrants. It is largely immigrants, however, that are creating the laws and policies that will shape the way technology will be used and regulated in the years to come. By studying the culture of digital natives, the project attempts to, one, address the issues their cultural practices raise, two, learn how to benefit from their digital fluency, and three, shape our regulatory and educational frameworks in a way that advances the public interest. One way in which Digital Natives researches the effects of technology on a younger culture is through their channel on YouTube. This channel provides a place for people to participate in a dialogue about individual experiences and relationships with their digital surroundings. Videos posted on the Digital Natives YouTube channel include recordings of the popular new trend of silent dance parties with the use of personal iPods, a detailed description of a digital dossier which is a trail of digitally recorded information such as sonograms, digital pictures, and internet profiles which builds throughout a human's life, and an interview with a digital native, Zach McCune, who was sued by the RIAA for illegally downloading music. In his video, Zach suggests a reform in governmental policies surrounding the persecution of illegal downloading. It, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, chart it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it, drag it, drop it, zip, and zip it, lock it, fill it, call it, find it, view it, code it, jump and lock it, surf it, scroll it, pose it, click it, cross it, crack it, twitch, update it, name it, read it, tune it, print it, scan it, send it, fax, rename it, touch it, ring it, pay it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop, format it. Technologic, 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 technologic. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, chart it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, burn it, rip it, drag it, drop it, zip and zip it, lock it, fill it, throw it, find it, view it, code it, jump and lock it, surf it, scroll it, go it, click it, cross it, crack it, it,
Dude, the fucking worst thing that could have ever happened in my entire life just happened. Did your cat die? No, dude. Fucking worse than that. Like, dude, I lost my cell phone. <gasps> No, no, it can't be true. It, it has to be somewhere. Please, God, I'll be a better person if you bring my phone back to me somehow. This is all my fault. I could have prevented this. God fucking damn it! I hate my life. I'll be here, like, you can just stop by whenever, and I think it'll work out, man. I think I'll be okay. Okay.